Volunteers to provide one-on-one -on -one literacy instruction to struggling readers in K through third grade from low-income communities. Reading Partners is making a huge difference here in Tulsa. Just last year, 89% of Tulsa students in the program narrowed their reading achievement gap. In serving more than 1,500 students, Tulsa is Reading Partners' largest region and continues to grow. Reading Partners is the easiest way, easiest way for you, for community members to make an impact and support literacy efforts in Tulsa. To learn more about how you can make a difference by volunteering as little as one hour per week or get your business or organization involved with re Reading Partners, text READING to 444-999. And now I think we're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is my pleasure now to welcome Mr. LeVar Burton. Biggest chair I've ever seen. How y'all doing? I know it's hot. I'm from California and I'm hot. But I did come to share a story. Who wants to hear a story? Yeah. This is one of my favorite books. It's called The Rhino Who Swallowed the Storm. And it's by one of my favorite authors, LeVar Burton. I love his work. He's all right, he's all right. A little background on this story. Um, one day, a few years back, I was with the Reading Rainbow camera crew in Central Park in New York City, and it was another one of those days, not unlike yesterday, when there was another mass shooting tragedy here in the United States. On that occasion, I think it was a movie theater in San Jose. And I looked around and I, I, I recognized that when he was here with us, my friend Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers, was the voice that always addressed to an, a, 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 an audience of children some of the ins and outs of growing up in a world dominated by adults. And Fred was, was gone, and I thought, well, I don't see anybody stepping into the void, so I thought I would give it a try, and, and that was the genesis of this story, The Rhino Who Swallows a Storm. Um, the Mika Mouse in the story, who you will meet very shortly, is, uh, is named after my daughter, Michaela, but she's always been Mika. Um, she'll be 24 next month, and, uh, and she's, she's still my little pudding. So are you ready for a story? Yeah! I love that about y'all. So this is The Rhino Who Swallowed a Storm by LeVar Burton. The illustrations are by the incredibly talented Courtney Fletcher, my co-writer with Susan Bernardo. So here we go. In the middle of the morning, Mika Mouse trembled under her blanket. A storm boomed outside of her window. Rain crashed against the glass. Wind rattled the shutters. More than anything else, Mika was afraid of storms. A year before, a powerful hurricane had destroyed her home. I'm scared, huh? she said. We are safe, Mika. This storm will pass soon, said Papa. Would you like me to read you a story? I know just the one to help you feel better. Well, Mika loved books, and Papa's gentle voice soothed in a way that made her forget all about the thunder. Papa opened the book and began. Long, long ago, before there were words, animals roamed in bountiful herds. Little rhinoceros lived happy and free, exploring mountains and meadows, rivers and trees. His world was delightful, and chock full of magic until out of the blue that magic turned tragic. A storm swept through the valley turning bright sky to black. A flash flood came raging. No time to react. Lost in the thundering. No time for wondering. Chaos and lightning fury so frightening. Earth 
quaking, him shaking, water rumbling, him tumbling, raggedy jaggedy, senseless calamity, the storm crashed through his world and tore it apart and took away everything dear to his heart. Rhino was stunned by the terrible scene. Death and destruction all through the ravine. Enraged by the pain of such a great loss, Rhino acted without a thought to the cost. Rhino looked at his world, all tattered and torn, stood out on the ledge and swallowed the storm. Inside his belly, he felt the storm growing. Inside his head, he heard howling and blowing like a tornado he spun as the storm raged inside, growing bigger and bigger and wider than wide. When he finally stopped, when he regained control, he was at the very bottom of a very deep hole. What to do? Rhino worried as rain dripped down his face. I'm lost and, and I'm lonely and in such a dark place. At just the right moment, to comfort and guide him, a spider dropped down and dangled beside him. The world up above is shattered and gray, but it's where you belong, so you must find a way to let that storm out and move through your sorrow. You'll find many helpers on your road to tomorrow. Oh, but that hole was dreadfully deep, and the walls around him were slippery steep. Rhino tried to climb out, but was losing all hope when Kangaroo heard him and threw down a rope. Rhino, though Rhino was heavy from the weight of the storm, they towed him right up, got him safe, dry, and warm. We're strong and steady and always ready. When danger strikes, we hop to it. Fire or flood, snow or mud, when help is needed, we'll pull you through it. That's my kangaroo as Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> For those of you old enough to know who Jimmy Stewart was. Watching those heroes do what they did best gave Rhino the strength to set off on his quest. That storm he was clutching made him buzzy and blurry. It kept his brain foggy. It filled him with worry. Where do I go? What do I do? How will I ever make it through? After every dark night, there comes a new day. Be kind, do your best, and you'll find a way. Up comes the sun. There are steps to complete. There isn't a map. Just follow your feet. Could you tell those were bees? Well, Rhino followed his feet to a wallowing spot where he plopped on a rock and had a deep thought. I'm tired of caging the wind and the rain, exhausted from holding this anger and pain. We're all on this earth to learn and to grow. A wise old tortoise chimed in from below. Allowing yourself to start feeling your feelings is the very first step on the journey toward healing. It doesn't much matter if you're fast or you're slow. If you want to move forward, just trust and let go. A rhino shook and he shimmied and he stomped in the muck and just as he'd hoped that storm came unstuck. At first one little raindrop leaked out of his eye. Then rhino let go and had a good cry. His tears formed a river that flowed to the sea where a pot of whales swam happy and free. Well, I do feel better, Rhino thought as he drifted. Then up swam a whale, and Rhino was lifted. If you ever feel blue, the whale said with a spout, remember to breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. Sing your own song and take it deep, deep, deep. Then rise above with a joyful leap. As he floated home on a gentle wave, Rhino felt calm and strong and brave. His vision was clear like the sky above, and he looked at his world through eyes filled with love. So he thanked the kind spider 
and the brave kangaroo and all of the others who had helped him through, he was glad to know that if he ever lost hope, they'd lend him a hand or throw him a rope. He had journeyed his journey a very long way to find the light in a world turned gray. He'd swallowed a storm with no thought to the cost. He'd felt all alone. He'd been tumbled and tossed. Life would bring changes, beginnings and ends. But he had faith in himself and faith in his friends. As they curled up together, he felt loved and protected, and he dreamed of a world that was safe and connected. He understood now it was love that mattered. Love could never be lost. Love could never be shattered. Papa closed the book and gave Nika a hug. I know it was scary when our home was destroyed last winter, said Papa. Bad things happen sometimes, and we can't always control that. But we had lots of helpers, said Nika, just like Rhino did. Ah, that's right, little one, Papa said in his gentle way. You're never really alone when bad things happen. There are family and friends, even people we don't know, who are always there to help us through the tough times. And just like every good story with a storm, this one ends in a rainbow. Thank you. Did you enjoy the story? Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, it has been my extreme and joyous pleasure to be here in the greater Tulsa area with all of y'all today. We had a very successful event for the Arts Alliance over at the, the Hyatt Hotel. Um, I know it's hot. Thank you all so much for coming out. I'll see you next time, but you don't have to take my word for it. Thank you for coming. Yeah.